I am Dr. Sanjay Gupta. I am a qualified physician in internal medicine. I have been practicing for last 25 years. In Stanford Hospital, I have been here for last 2 to 3 years in Kaikondrahalli. It is extremely important to note the age of the person, especially when it involves a female, to understand the disease uh, per se or what is the etiopathogenesis of the disease. So when somebody tells that there is a girl who is having problem with excessive heat in the body, my first question or uh, my first inference should be that whether there is a female who is actually turning into a puberty. So whether it's an adolescent phase which is coming which leads to hormonal changes again or whether the person is already facing some other problems like already there is a metabolic rate which is very high. So coming to the conclusion straight away, metabolic rate which can determine the patient's uh, heat or the patient's temperature, body temperature for example. And that body temperature when you discuss it as a, a heat then it can be interpreted in terms of fever or in terms of disease. Fever can be again a part and parcel of any other disease. But if you rule out a fever or a rule out an infection, then it has to be something to do with metabolism. It has to do with something with hormones or hormonal changes. Or this heat problem can come in cycles when probably the girl is experiencing menstruation. So it is important to know all these factors when we take a medical history of a girl who is facing excessive heat. These changes and fluctuations at the age of the person and also an underlying problem, all this comes into play and if all this is ruled out, then we can probably look at the atmospheric conditions, which is the problem with the patient to adapt to the atmospheric conditions. So I think this should actually sum up our approach towards a girl uh, facing or experiencing excessive heat.